Hi everyone, welcome back, back to my channel. I'm very happy and excited. This is my last lab session in the AVS Educate Cloud 101, Introduction 101. So let's this finish this one and we can start learning and try training with some other uh, hands-on experiences. I'm going to start the lab. This is hosting a static website and objectives are create a bucket in Amazon S3. That's easy. Upload content to your bucket. That was easy. Enable access to the bucket objects. Update the website. Okay, let's start and see. Um, okay, the lab is ready. I'm going to open and Oops, this got my first, <coughs> my previous session. Go back and sign in. Let's try that again. Refresh the page. Okay, now it's ready. I'm going to take this one out as usual. We are going to go to um, S3. Starting the lab management console is to create a bucket. <coughs> bucket name, slide website. Replace with a random number. Three, four, five. Public access to bucket is blocked by default. Okay. Um, the tip website will need to be accessible through the internet. You must permit public access. <coughs> Acknowledge that. First, under object ownership, choose ACL enabled. Here, disabled, enabled. Under block public access settings, um, this is that block all public. Access OK tag, select tag, edit tag. Department Marketing. You can use the stack at additional information to pockets such as project code, cost center, or owner. Stack. No, not. Another one, okay. Um, create the bucket. Mm, already exists. I guess that. Let's say 666. Again, no. Give them one more six. Okay, that's ready now. And the properties. Uh, website, bucket, properties, scroll for the website hosting, static, this website hosting, okay, edit, enable, um, enable, hosting, hosting, static website, index document, index, index html and then for the event though it's already displayed error document error html okay you receive a forbidden message because you have not configured the bucket permissions keep the tab open on the top row so that you can return to it later save changes um, I didn't receive 
static website hosting panel static uh, website hosting panel what does it mean in the static website hosting panel under bucket website static website static website hosting here bucket website choose a link okay. uploading content to your bucket in this case you upload study this one save under here 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 and I will upload the objects we will go to the packets and our bucket is here upload objects add files these ones and open and upload um, enabling access to the objects objects are stored the private by default this can help organization that remains secure to make uploaded object publicly accessible uh, first confirm the objects are currently private. Return the browser. Refresh the page. Okay. <laughs> if you accidentally close the tab, go to the properties, the website hosting, bucket website. To make either whole bucket public or a specific directory of bucket public, you use a bucket policy. To make individual objects in a bucket public use an access control list in an it's a normally safer to make individual objects public <laughs> because doing so allows externally making other objects public however if you know your entire bucket contains no sensitive information you can use a bucket policy now configure the individual objects to the publicly accessible return to web browser s s3 s3 Okay, select all three objects, all three objects, actions, make actions, actions, make public using ATL, make public, make our website not publicly accessible. Static website serve from Amazon S3. Mm, that looks nice. Okay, uh, you should see updating the website. You can change the website by editing HTML file and uploading again S3 bucket. Amazon S3 is object storage service, so you must upload the whole file. This action replaces the existing object. On your computer, load the index HTML file into, into a text editor, for example, Notepad or text edit. Find the text served Amazon S3 and replace it by create by your name. Substituting your name, your name, for example, created by Jane. Save the file, return to. Okay, I'm going to just open my index file. Open so no text made word. So now this this is going to work. And now serve find the text served from Amazon S3 created by 
I don't know if it's going to work. This word file. Okay. okay. Save the file. Let's see. Now we are going to save the file. Return the Amazon S3 con upload the indexation file that you just edit, edited. Uh, select. Okay. Go back. Close. Backlist. Upload. Let's see. Apply. Add files. Index. So I was able to save it. I need to make it public again. Okay, this is looking different because I opened in my uh, web word browser, I didn't have text file. Um, so that's why it's not in the format. I deleted all the format, I guess. So I'm not sure if it will pass the submission anyway. Um, let me see HTML filters. Let's just make, make public option again. I did that. So let's submit. If it doesn't work, I can try to do it again. Okay, I guess it worked, but you, if you are doing the same practice, don't open it in the world. I, I guess you need to have a notepad in advance. I think my computer doesn't have it. So that's all. I will see you in my next practice. See you, bye.